Welcome to Chesapeake Technology Incorporated's training video on building a survey line set around a contact. Today we'll be looking at a new feature in SonarWiz 5 that enables the user to quickly and easily build a survey line grid around a particular contact. This is useful in activities such as search and recovery or ordinance disposal where <clears throat> you may have perhaps identified a contact but are not totally sure of what exactly that contact is. You need to create a better mosaic picture or you need to better insonify that contact in order to determine the, the nature of the object. <clears throat> so this feature will enable you to set up the survey lines necessary to create that better sonar uh, image. So we'll begin by identifying our contact and in order to do that I need to get a closer look at the mosaic so I'll click on the rectangle zoom and then I'll come looking for a contact that has some shadow involved um, but is also clearly a unique feature on the seafloor. Here we go. You can see this sort of uh, blob looking thing in the middle. Alright, so I've, that's the contact I'd like to investigate further and I need some survey lines to help me help guide my vessel in creating this better sonar image. So I'll come up and click capture contact. You'll see my cursor has changed into this circle with an X and then I'll left click over the center of the feature. Okay, and here we go. In the contact manager you can see uh, the port and starboard. Um, I have the exact location within the coordinate system of uh, where the contact is at and you can also see this scroll bar over here so if you need to scroll up and down the uh, immediate area you can do that as well. So I'll scroll on up to the feature my contact here we go I'll left click on that and that will label the contact as contact 0009 it kind of saves itself so I'll close out of that and then once I have the contact established and labeled, I will come up to the contact, right click on it once, see my cursor changed into that circle with an arrow, and then right click again. And then I'll move down to build a line set around a contact. So here we just have to put in some basic information. The first box, distance off target is just what it says it is. It uh, is the setting which describes the distance from the target at which the the lines will be drawn. So for instance if you put in uh, if you put in this 20 meters you will create a 40 by 40 box of survey lines around your contact. Um, <clears throat> And you can adjust this uh, depending perhaps on the size of your contact. If it's really large, you might want to extend the distance off the target. Um, or, uh, you know, if your survey, if your actual, the width of your survey band is, is extremely large, you can also, um, you know, extend that. Uh, but you can adjust that to your liking. And you can also adjust the lines graphically once they're drawn as well. So you can input here using hard data, or you can uh, adjust them on the screen once they're drawn. Um, and then line length is simply uh, just the length of the actual survey line. So the distance your vessel will travel along a given survey line. Um, so once you're satisfi satisfied with these figures, and like I said, again, you can adjust them later. Um, once you're satisfied, you can click OK. And that will bring up our survey lines. There we go. So I'll zoom out a little bit so we can see the full extent of these lines. And then once you can see the edges, you can see that our survey lines are lined up north and south and east and west with the contact in the middle. However, if you are not satisfied with this current heading and would like to rotate the, uh, the grid that we've created, you can easily do that simply by left clicking somewhere within the grid. As you can see, there are adjuster bubbles that come up around the contact grid or the survey line grid, excuse me. And then if you want to rotate, come to the green bubble, hold down the left mouse, and then simply move your mouse along the sonar mosaic to create the rotation you would like. So I'll move up here, 
So we're starting in the sort of northeast and then just following the lines like that. Uh, you can also adjust the size of the particular survey lines as well. Um, so if you just click on one of the black bubbles and then move your mouse, you can see that the lines are sort of elongating. And it's also interesting to remember that uh, if you click on the diagonal bubbles, it will it will uh, correct the size of the whole grid rather than just one set of lines, just rather than the north-south or east-west lines. Um, <clears throat> and it's also always a good idea to keep the contact in the middle because that's you know that's obviously what you're trying to generate a better sonar image of. Another feature that is kind of interesting to note is this group and ungroup feature down here um, in this button, this white box button here. So if I click this button, the bubbles disappear and the grid is, is more or less frozen in place. Um, however, if, say, I wanted to just adjust these two lines here, so this line going to the northeast and then this line going to the southeast, so I will click over and highlight some portion of both of those lines and you'll see them become highlighted in purple and then if I want to adjust them I simply click the group button and you'll see I get another box here but if I click on the green button to rotate them it only, rotes, or only rotates the two lines that I highlighted so we're getting sort of a, a unique box in the middle here and say I wanted to, so okay, so yeah, say I'm done, I'm pretty pleased with this rotation. I will click the ungroup button again, and that freezes them in place. So now when I click in the middle here, nothing happens other than I accidentally highlighted that line. So let's say I want to, uh, you know, I want to make a little more space within or next to the contact, and I need to move these lines out a little bit. So I will highlight these three. See, okay, so the lines in purple are the ones that I'm going to be working with once I click, once I click the group button. And then I'll just click and drag those a little bit out here. So I've got a little bit wider range. And then you can just follow the lines. The, you know, the arrows have the directions pointing on them. and just trace the lines and create that better image of your of your contact. <clears throat> and finally, it's also important to note that if you're not pleased with the survey line grid that you've created, you can always highlight everything, click the group button again, and then right click somewhere within the grid and then click delete selected group. And there's no harm done, you can redraw your line set again with absolutely no difficulty just click OK and that's really the beauty of this feature is that it's quick and easy and it's easily adjustable as well and you can always go back and make the changes that you need to make and that concludes this video